Hi, welcome to Rimshot Drums and Percussion. My name is Ron Haslam, San Diego's only mobile drum professor. Today's lesson is going to be introducing, introducing how to hold the sticks. Uh, and there's, there's basically two different ways to do that. Uh, there's a traditional way where this left hand plays, if you're a right handed drummer, the left hand plays with the stick going through the thumb, forefinger, and these fingers coming over top, and the ring finger supports that. And we'll get into the stroke and rebound mechanics of how that works. Um, a lot of today's drummers use match grips so that both hands do the same thing. Um, and uh, we'll get into all the different types of things that need to come into play as far as uh, how to hit a drum and get the most sound out of it. So the first part of strokes and rebound mechanics will be on uh, allowing the sticks to bounce uh, and not choking them and finding a good balance point in between your fingers, wrists, and hand. So here we go. First thing we're going to do is just let the stick hit the drum and catch it so that it doesn't do uh, a, a buzz, you only want one stroke. Now, there's a couple of ways to you can do things. You can play off the surface rather than into the drum when you start playing faster and harder. If you relax a little bit and allow that stick to rebound, it brings a, a, a big, a fatter, more resonant sound out of, out of the drums. And the same thing will apply to cymbals, although the grip changes just a little bit. So, here's an example of that idea in play. One, two, three, four. You notice I'm not driving the stick into the head, but I'm allowing the stick to rebound and bounce and come off the head and control it. Uh, in our next lesson we'll get into more specific sticking exercises. Um, but there you go, that's a quick um, lesson on holding your sticks uh, in the correct manner and allowing them to bounce. I'll see you at the next lesson.